now is the time for an apple. Now it's time. Dot dot dot. For an apple. Yep. <laughs> Bounce on the balls. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't do incest. Oh, that's wrong. I've got a lot of cuts in the skirt. Yeah. The man who wants me dead is Liquid, your twin. Dun, dun, you think dun. you know him, but I know him better. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he was dun. once Ocelot, but Liquid has taken control of his twin. soul. And now he's locked in a bitter struggle with Zero. Zero. The founder of the Patriots. Founder? When did this happen? Forty years ago. Wow. That's ages ago. Forty During years the ago. Cold War when the United States mm -hmm. and the Soviet Union were in the arms. <clears throat> it was in that era that the Patriots mm -hmm. were born. And I played my part. Zero created the Patriots to manage and control the American state. That control endured long after the Cold War ended. The organization became an empty shell, continuing to function through AIs. Those AIs are responsible for the creation of the war economy, and they gave rise to the Sons of the Patriots system. But I am partly to blame. I bear some of the guilt for creating the organization. <clears throat> it was right after I first met your father, Big Boss. Back in 1964, I was ordered to take part in a CIA op called Operation Snake Eater, which concerned a new weapon the Soviets were developing at the time. My mission was to support a certain agent. That agent later became Big Boss, but I knew him as Snake. Snake? Yes, Naked Snake. That was his code name at the time. A name he would give to you, his son. The commander of this mission was a man called Zero, the head of Special Forces Unit Fox. Back then, I was working as a double agent for the Chinese. My objective was to secure the location of the Philosopher's Legacy, <clears throat> a massive cache of hidden wealth, and report it to Beijing. I was to acquire a microfilm showing the location of secret funds, funds amassed by the Allied powers during World War II. But I failed in my mission, and was expelled from China. I took the apple from the snake, and was cast out of Eden. After years on the run, I ended up in Hanoi. That's where I met him again. It was around then that Zero used the massive funds contained in the Philosopher's Legacy to start a new organization, the Patriots, which would carry out the final wishes of a certain legendary hero. The initial membership consisted of Big Boss, Sigint, Paramedic, and their commander, Zero. Oh, and there was one more who we mustn't forget. He stayed behind in the Soviet Union to support the group as an informant. Awesome is now liquid. After your father rescued me in Hanoi, I went to America and joined their organization. Zero's goal was to achieve a unity of thought and awareness. He believed that was what the boss wanted, and the rest of the patriots followed his lead. The boss? The boss was a legendary hero from the Second World War, known as the mother of special forces. Big boss's mother. She had an almost overwhelming charisma mm. about her. The CIA feared this, so they had her eliminated. If she had survived, <clears throat> the world of the 21st century might have been a very different place. We were all influenced by the boss's will. It was what drove us to create this organization, to be closer to that spirit. Zero decided that in order to lead the people, we needed a special kind of icon. So we turned to Big Boss, the last son of the boss. He shared more of her life than anyone else. It 
was Big Boss the true heir to her legacy who was best suited to play this role. Zero elevated Big Boss, the hero who saved the world, to the status of an idol. The truth behind Big Boss became riddled with exaggeration, misrepresentation, and outright lies. Zero disseminated these stories among the masses and gathered the rich and powerful to his banner. Every era needs its symbols to control the people. Whether it be the stars and stripes, or the hammer and sickle. As the times and currents of politics changed, so too did Zero. Eventually, he became a prisoner of his own lust for power, sparking friction between him and Big Boss who resented playing the puppet. With Big Boss drifting away, Zero realized he would need insurance, something that would perpetuate the existence of Big Boss, their organization's icon. And so Zero secretly embarked on a new project, Les Enfants Terribles. Its goal children. was to create a clone of Big Boss, the ultimate soldier. The project was led by Dr. Clark, known at the time as Paramedic. After dozens of failures, they <coughs> finally, miraculously, succeeded in producing a fertilized egg. The egg used in this successful in vitro fertilization came from Dr. Clark's assistant, a healthy Japanese woman. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Give birth to Big Boss. To realize this, I asked to serve as the surrogate mother, and was more than happy to carry you. Determined to oppose Zero and his plans, Big Boss broke away from the Patriots. He left the States, created his own mercenary company, and drifted around the world. I'm sorry. Your father never wanted you. Human life isn't meant to be manipulated like that. I knew that, but I wanted you. After Big Boss left, Zero really lost control. What Zero wanted was an orderly world, one governed by rules. His fortune grew through countless wars, and his words influenced decision-making all the way up to the Oval Office. As the world saw the rise of digital technology, IT, the Internet, and genetics, the Patriots' power grew immense. Their roots spread and took hold throughout the globe. In time, they began to dictate the fate of entire nations from the shadows. And before we knew it, the Patriots, the proud police of the world, started bringing an entire planet under their control. were fair, but their execution was flawed. Zero developed weapons, amassed armies, used information for extortion, all in order to gain more wealth. He was obsessed with controlling awareness on the inside from the outside. But I cannot imagine that's what the boss would have wanted to. They both misinterpreted her will. And their absolute reverence for her drove them apart. 
So began the war between Zero and Big Boss. Opposing interpretations, each striving to realize the boss's will. Everything you see today stems from their cold war. Differences in race, in religion, in ideology. This war they've caused is no different from any other human error in history. It all started with a tiny fork in the path. And grew into a great rift. There was nothing left of the boss's noble will in their struggle. All that remained was hatred, a passion to destroy one another. Big Boss returned to the U.S. with a plan in mind, and once again assumed command of Foxhound. In Outer Heaven, and then Zanzibar Land, Big <coughs> Boss plotted coup d'etat against Zero. But you, Sonic, his own plan, foiled his efforts both times. Big Boss and Gray Fox, frankly, were left near death. Zero recovered their bodies. Frank Yeager's entire body was reconstructed through surgery, and he was reborn as the cyborg ninja. Big Boss, now a vegetable, became a prisoner of Zero even in death. For Zero, more than anyone else, your father was an irreplaceable icon. No, the truth is, for Zero, he was an irreplaceable friend. After Big Boss's betrayal, Zero could no longer believe in something so uncertain as life. He lost his belief in everything, nations, organizations, individuals. Zero was no longer willing to place his organization in the hands of the next generation. Instead, he set up a network of AIs, a decision-making system formed from all the information he had accumulated. He built four AIs, GW, TJ, AL, and TR, as sort of a digital Mount Rushmore, and one core artificial intelligence to unite them, John Doe. GW. The same GW we destroyed five years ago. The same. Ever since GW was cut off, J.D. and the other three A.I.s have controlled all information on every aspect of global society. Economics, politics, law, morals, and culture. The war economy is no exception. In the shadow of the system and its complete control over the world, Big Boss isn't allowed to live or die. He's trapped for eternity in a brain-dead prison. To bind himself to his friend, to ensure his rule over the world, Zero transformed Big Boss into an icon, neither living nor dead. Uh, da, 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 da.